The Federalist Papers. That's a big story, health care. Of course, the other big story today is what's happening in the White House and all the leaks. Anthony Scaramucci, who's the new communications director, he talked to a reporter. The reporter published what he said. Anthony says it was off the Ooh. record or some of it was. The reporter still publishes it anyway. And Anthony used some colorful words, but said, I'm going to I'm going to end these leaks. Now, I was watching you. Colorful. Show. <laughs> yeah. OK. He said the it sounds like he works in a stuff. newsroom. <laughs> OK. But I heard you say that you think Reince Priebus and you think that Bannon, Steve Bannon, are out. Uh, well, let me just if I, if I can start with our Anthony Scaramucci, uh, you know, we, we O'Reilly, Hannity, Howard Stern, uh, Alec Baldwin, we all come from 10 miles of each other. So I, I get where Anthony Scaramucci is coming where from. Where that language is from. Where the language is from. That's, that's truly what uh, Melanie, might call, uh, Melania might call locker room banter. So I filter it through. His big mistake was being so naive as to talk to a New Yorker who hates the Republican Party and hates President Trump uh, as if he would be speaking with us. Uh, and not, not you, President Company excluded. Uh, I, I think that it was... It was Really a rookie mistake. He distracted from the president, and that was too bad. But having said that, he spoke exactly the truth. The West Wing is, is absolutely riddled with rats. The president comes to work every day, and the rats crawl over his polished shoes. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a rat. The reason he surrounds himself with Jared Kushner and Ivanka and, and family is that the family is the one entity he can trust in that building filled with rats. So Scaramucci, with this, with this uh, New York bombast, lays it out, unfortunately. But if you translate, if I could be like simultaneously translating, what he said was absolutely true. Rents Priebus comes from the deep state. He's a, he's a, a dyed-in-the-wool establishment GOP guy who got dragged in uh, kicking and screaming after Trump's nomination was inevitable. He's not a Trump guy. I, I don't trust him. I don't think the president, I, I don't want to speak for the president, but I think that the uh, Reds Priebus and, and coming from the opposite side, the far right side. An arrival right, of Reince Priebus. It, it's the, Steve Bannon. And both of them, I think Scaramucci was right to suggest that they have their own agendas. And their agenda isn't necessarily that of the president. And if the president wants to move forward, he's got to get rid of these people and rely on people he can trust. Who, who is that? I think Scaramucci, clearly. Corey Lewandowski. I remember Corey Lewandowski. Mm -hmm. I think Corey Lewandowski would take a bullet for the president. He would never talk to a sure. reporter and, and snitch out the David president. David Bossy, under, another one. A, a, a Bossy, again, going back to the, uh, you know, to the idealistically uh, clear-headed. Uh, I, I think this president today, by the end of the weekend, certainly, maybe by the end of the day, maybe by lunchtime, I think Rens Priebus is going to have a one-way ticket to Wisconsin. I think you're right. And Steve Bannon is dangling by the thinnest of threads. And the, ironically, the job that's safe right now is the Attorney General. Let me, let me ask you, does this factor into it? If these two go, do they become enemies, sort of enemies of the administration? Does that figure into the calculus? Well, let me ask you a question. Would you prefer your enemy face to face? I'm your enemy. Let's go. Let's square off. Or would you prefer going forward and the enemy gets you behind the back, bites you on the ass every day, tattles, tattles uh, your biggest secret, re absolutely reveals you, the direction you're going? I want the enemy I can face. So, so your, your gut tells you that Scaramucci's 100 percent right, that he's identified two leakers. 100 percent right. I only wish I could have advised him that if you say off the record, you say off the record every other sentence. Certainly before you say something as salty as what he said, but there is truth. If you whittle down the nuggets between the expletives, there's nothing there but right. truth. Right. In my that's opinion. a lot we, of whittling, but sure. that's a we, lot. It's an, it's an daunting amount of whittling. <laughs> yeah. right. We understand that most of it was on the record. He knew when part, he asked for part of it be, to be taken off. Nonetheless, you're absolutely right. The White House communications director should know how it works. And simple remedy. Right. You give an interview, you record it also. Sure. So when you say off the record, you have it on tape, and you tell the person you're talking right. to, I'm recording. Okay. You know, you, if you, I don't know how much vacation time you have, but you would be a great help to the president. I, I, I tell you, the Scaramucci job is a job I would have loved. But Too I'm, late. I'm in private sector now. Okay. I'm, I'm but rooting he, for Anthony. But he's still staffing My up. homeboy. I'm rooting right. for Anthony. But he's still staffing up. Geraldo, have a great weekend. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. It is 11 minutes now after the That's topic. right. Let's hand it over to Jillian, who has some headlines for us.